Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christy with Van Allen Company. It's Monday, July 31st, last trading day here into July. Uh, you started off just like you had the last three or four here weeks with a lot of pressure coming into Sunday evening trade. So came in here with a forecast that's less threatening than the one we left with on Friday. Uh, not that it's an ideal forecast, but they do bump some rain into some areas. Uh, Minnesota should be getting some moisture here Thursday, uh, Wednesday into Thursday, which is well needed after taking about a week and a half off. There's a lot of drier areas that haven't had moisture for a while and aren't going to get it. So like I said, forecast isn't ideal, um, but without the heat really around below average temperatures for the next two weeks, you're starting to say um, how much damage can be done from the dryness if a lot of these areas have the moisture they need. So the Eastern Corn Belt really taking this as a well-received uh, break from all the moisture they've had as well. And with cooler temperatures, it should be good. So uh, you did find those uh, weaker trading into Sunday evening but we're able to bounce back corn down about three and a half cents well off their lows and then corn down about anywhere from uh, five to seven cents wheat market down six to nine cents and those are all well off their lows could be the US dollar starting to kind of fade off as well finding some support there meat markets a similar trade as you saw into the grain market so started off a bit weaker work their way back up still closed in the red but well off their lows with live cattle feeder cattle down about 40 to 50 cents lean hogs down about anywhere from 50 to a buck uh, outside markets like I said favorable with that US dollar starting to slip so that's where you found the most support probably into these trading crude market up slightly US dollar down 30 Dow market up about 70 points we'll have to see where crop conditions here come in this afternoon all eyes will be on that most people are expecting about a uh, steady to a two percent increase in crop conditions and if we don't see that you should be able to bounce like we have in the weeks past um, this is Chris with Van On Company have a great day